Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Well, as you can tell, we are coming to you from our central Washington locations here in beautiful Clea Elm, Washington. And as you can also tell, we are having a fantastic day here in Washington State. I hope that all of you are enjoying this as we are winding down spring and getting close to summer. And of course, summer means, hey, we got lots of family vacations. And of course, what would be any childhood memory without some horrific road trip spending 12 hours in the car with your entire family to get somewhere? However, there are many people who do do a lot of traveling in the summertime and oftentimes they want to take their firearms. And so the question that we get here all the time at Washington Gun Law, in fact, during the summertime, it is by far the most fielded question that we ever get is can I drive through this state if I have my firearm? The answers might surprise you because it doesn't necessarily have to do with state laws as much as it has to do with one piece of federal legislation. So today, as we get ready for summer, let's get you all educated and talk about, can I take my gun on a road trip this summer? Okay, before we get going down the road, we're going down. Proud to say that this video was inspired by Tom. That's right, Tom at Security Gun Club. Listen, you'll be hearing a lot more for Tom. You might even be seeing a lot more of Tom, but Tom is the inspiration for this. Tom, thanks for this idea. Okay, so the issue we're talking about is, is if you live in state A and your family or you individually or whoever is taking a road trip to state B, and you really like your Second Amendment right of self-preservation and you want to take a firearm with you, can you do so and can you do so legally? Excellent question. There's actually a very straightforward answer. Now, this video, caveat to this video right now, okay? What this video is not saying is, is that if you live in state A, can you take a gun to state B? For purposes of this discussion, we are going to assume two things, okay? Number one, the state that you're coming from allows you to possess a firearm, okay? And number two, the state you are going to also allows you to possess a firearm. And we will also assume that the state you are coming from and the state you are going to not only allows you to possess a firearm, it also allows you to possess whatever type of firearm you are actually taking with you, okay? With that said, what happens if this road trip takes you through, God forbid, states like New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Maryland, and all the other states who maybe have some very crazy, crazy gun laws? What happens if you have to go through Illinois, California, Oregon, Washington? Are you going to find yourself in trouble by merely transporting a firearm through those states? The answer is, in almost all instances, no, you're not. And the reason you're not is because of a piece of legislation that was passed in 1986 called the Firearm Owners Protection Act. Now, the Firearm Owners Protection Act, which was passed under President Reagan, has been the subject of a great bit of debate about whether or not it really protected firearm owners or actually infringed further upon their rights. We're not getting into that debate today, but one of the things that the Firearm Owners Protection Act did is it amended the Gun Control Act of 1968, a piece of legislation passed under President Lyndon Johnson. One of the many amendments that it made to the Gun Control Act was the addition of 18 United States States Code Section 926A, now known as the Federal Safe Passage Act or Safe Passage Provision. And then, of course, in typical legislative fashion, the law they drafted looks something like this. Now, rather than read the law to you, because you could all do that yourself, what we're going to do is we're going to translate the law from legal gibberish into plain English, okay? And this is essentially how the law works, okay? If you are coming from a state where you're lawfully possessing the firearm and you are going to a state where you will lawfully be possessing that firearm, so long as the firearm is secured in an area of the vehicle which you could not access and the firearm is unloaded, you may pass through that state no matter what goofy or crazy or insane gun laws they have. So let me say that again. The firearm has to be unloaded and it has to be in a part of the car in which you cannot access. Now, I know some of you are like, oh, well, I got an SUV or whatever. Okay, let's talk about that because the law also talks about that as well. They actually talked about that. 
Obviously, if you got a traditional trunk because you got a sedan or something like that, that's where the firearm should go. Many people, however, are uh, driving SUVs and other types of wagon-like vehicles. What do you do in that situation? The statute specifically says in that, ca in that situation, if you have it in a hard-sided locked case and it is unloaded, you once again completely fall under the safe passage provisions. Now some of you are going to ask, well, what does unloaded mean? And the federal legislation does not define what unloaded means. And every state probably mildly has a different definition. But using Washington's as a template, okay, if it is a semi-automatic handgun, the minute the magazine is in the magwell, if there are rounds in the magazine, the minute that it's inserted into the magwell, that is considered a loaded firearm. For a revolver, anytime there is any round in any particular cylinder, then that that is considered a loaded firearm. And then, of course, in Washington law, you can't carry shotguns and rifles loaded. Many states have similar laws like that, okay? So, the bottom line is, as we all know as lawful and responsible gun owners, what a truly unloaded firearm is, and we're all smart enough to know how to transport a truly unloaded firearm. So the bottom line is, can you take your firearm on a road trip this summer? Yes, you can, because 18 United States Code Section 926 Section A, an act passed under President Reagan, actually allows you safe passage through states so long as the firearm is not accessible to you in the automobile and is stored unloaded. Listen, you may have more questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. You guys should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now, but if you don't, that's okay, because that information is right there in the description box. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.